Imagine a world with enough food for every man, every woman, and child, where hospitals serve all who are sick, and schools are open to all who want to learn. That world is possible. The development of any nation depends on the amount of revenue generated by the government for the provision of infrastructural facilities. Taxation is the key to unlocking resources required for public investments and infrastructural growth. A taste, just a taste of what is to come to you on today's episode of Tax Matters. My name is Chamaka Ohaochi and the program is Tax Matters. We want to share with you today on tax matters, the exploits of the young ones. Like we like to say, the young ones are not growing, they have grown. We have two stories for you in this regard that will blow your mind. On Thursday the 4th of November 2021, the Quara State Internal Revenue Service hosted the 2021 quiz competition in Ilori, the state capital. A total of 142 secondary schools across the three senatorial districts of Quara State participated in the preliminaries which began in July 2021 by logging on to the quiz portal. Out of the 142 schools, 18 emerged to participate in the semi-final which took place early in the morning of D-Day. With the theme, Raising a Generation of Task Compliant Citizens, the event was witnessed by the Deputy Governor of the State, His Excellency, Mr. Kayode Alabi. It was a grand event. 18 schools are competing in this semi-final. We're going to pick six out of these 18. And the six to be picked will be two from each of the three senatorial districts we have in the state. The semi-final involving 18 schools was computer-based. At the end of the round, the result of the semi-final was announced. Like you can see your scores, Eucharistic Heart of Jesus Model College, score 76%. Stepping Stone College, score 62 And from Choir South, Notre Dame Girls College, score 64. At the Allah College offer, score 60%. And Quara North, the Apostolic Church School, score 60%. Government Secondary School, Lafayette, total questions 50. Now, between these two, we have a tie. That is where we have another replay. Between Government Secondary School, Lafayette, and Government Secondary School, Elisha Baruba. Thank you very much. You can see it very, very clean and clear. Mrs. Shade Omoni is Executive Chairman, Quara Internal Revenue Service, and Chief Hostess of the Quara Internal Revenue Service Task Club 2021 Quiz Competition. Our interest in raising tax compliance citizenry remains our watchword, and the various developmental initiatives of the KWRS gave back to the Tax Club Quiz Competition for secondary schools in Quara State uh, since 2016. On the prizes on offer. The 2021 Tax Club Quiz Competition is going to have prizes given in various categories with a grand prize of 2.5 million naira for the school in the first position. The prize, as the usual practice of KWRS, will be utilized for befitting infrastructural development or projects in that school that wins the first prize. And then the final. The final stage of this competition is going to have three rounds. And each of the rounds will have 35 questions. So from, it, from this question, each school is to attempt 5-5. Five, five. The round one, round two, round three, they are all multiple choice questions. We're going to have questions and options. So you pick, you agree and pick whichever is correct. Each question answered correctly carries 
two months. And then the show began. We share excerpts with you from each of the three rounds. Question 15. Which of the following statement best describes tax? A. Tax is an optional levy on income. B. Tax is a donation from income. C. Tax is a compulsory levy on income. And D. Tax is a compensation from income. Yep. C. Tax is a compulsory levy on income. Correct. Question number eight. Question number eight. What is the full meaning of P A Y E? A. Pay and you earn. B. Pay as you earn. C. Pay as you enable. D. Pay as you earn. Up. B. Pay as you earn. Right. Let's go. Number 16. Which of the following is an indirect tax? A. Value added tax. B. Capital gain tax. C. Education tax. And D. Companies income tax. A. Value added tax. Question number two. Question number two. Question number two. What is the main objective of establishing tax appeal tribunal? A. To impose tax payment on taxpayer. B. To settle tax disputes. D. To settle criminal matters. And D. To enforce tax laws. D. To settle tax is good. Correct. Question three. Question number three. The time limit for the filing of objection with the relevant tax authority on any notice of assessment dispute is A. 60 days B. 90 days C. 30 days D. 15 days C. C. Correct. Question number six. The administration of companies' income tax is vested in the A. Joint Task Board B. State Board of Internal Revenue C. Federal Inland Revenue Service and D. Joint Tax and State Revenue Committee C. Federal Inland Revenue Service Correct. Question seven. Question number seven. The Federal Inland Revenue Service is responsible for the taxation of the following persons except Dash. A. Members of the Armed Forces of the Federation. B. Residents of the Federal Capital Territory. C. Officers of the Nigerian Foreign Service. D. Non-resident individuals. Did non-resident individual. <laughs> that is incorrect. The correct answer is residents of the Federal Capital Territory. At the end of round three, the results were announced. There was yet another tie, this time between Eucharistic Heart of Jesus and Stepping Stone College for first and second places. Eucharistic Heart of Jesus, 26. Stepping Stone College, 26. <laughs> Government Secondary School, Elisha Baruba, uh, 24. Notre Dame. Girls Academy 22, the Apostolic Church School 22, Adiola College 
20. So we have uh, we have uh, uh, Eucharistics at Jesus and Stepping Stone time. And uh, that will mean we are going for another round. Stepping Stone emerge the winner. Number one, Eucharistic, Art of Jesus. Second, Government, uh, uh, government Secondary School in Malaysia, Baruba, third. Prizes were presented to winning schools the quiz participants, and their teachers. The Deputy Governor, His Excellency Mr. Kayode Alabi, presented the prizes to the overall winning school. Um, I'm so excited to be here today. I've learned so much. Um, they say education is a continuous process. A lot of things I didn't know. I, I learned it this afternoon. I'm so happy. Um, I commend for tonight revenue. I commend Mr. Education. Again, we see the young ones have grown. We are, however, not done yet. We will go on a short break, and when we return, We'll be telling you yet another story of the young ones making waves. By the way, the question on taxation of FCT residents is indeed a tricky one. Yes, the Federal Inner Revenue Service used to collect personal income tax from residents of FCT as well as officers and men of the armed forces, the Nigeria Police Force, staff of the Foreign Affairs Ministry and non-resident individuals, that is, foreigners. But with the creation of the FCT Internal Revenue Service in the year 2015, the FIRS handed over to the FCT IRS. We pity the students there, but that's the fact. I'm a very busy man. My business involves a lot of traveling and I interface with lots and lots of people and organizations. Tax compliance used to be a big drag on my business. It was time consuming and very costly. But now, no more. Introducing the FIRS Tax Pro Max, the truly fully end-to-end -end tax administration solution for companies' income tax, value-added tax, petroleum profits tax, and all other tax types. For fast, efficient, and convenient end-to-end -end tax experience, log on to www.taxpromax.firs.gov.ng. Tax Pro Max has turned things around for me. It is fast, user-friendly, and cost-effective. FIRS, making tax administration as easy as ABC. Welcome back. From Eloring to Lagos, where another set of secondary school students are saying to the adults, we are here, we are ready to take over. On Thursday, the 11th of November 2021, the Society of Women in Taxation, Sweet Lagos State Chapter, led by its state coordinator, Barista Mrs. Cecilia Odibo, hosted the 2021 edition of the Lagos State Senior Secondary Schools Public Speaking Competition on Taxation. Topic of the public speaking competition was, how can we improve the Nigerian tax system? You're in for a surprise. The Society of Women in Taxation was inaugurated in May 2010 as an arm of the Chartered Institute of Taxation with a mission to building a society that will promote the interest of women in tax policy, law and practice in furtherance with the aims of the Institute and also to undertake tax awareness in various sectors of the society an economy that foster growth and inclusiveness, especially among the young ones. The wonderful thing about Sweet Lagos chapter is that we walk the tax talk by genuinely stimulating the interest of Nigerian youths towards considering the tax profession as their choice career. 
as well as making them task compliant when they eventually become the future leaders of our great nation. The public speaking for today, as shown on our flyer, is how can we improve the Nigerian tax system? We have here with us intelligent students across 10 schools within the six educational districts of Lagos State to do justice to this topic. Past president of the CITN, Professor Mrs. Teji Shomori was the moderator of the speaking competition. This is a public speaking competition on taxation. And the theme is how can we improve the Nigerian tax system? So I'm going to start by calling on Adeyemo from Ikpakodo Senior Grammar School of Ikorodo. I put it to you that the efficiency the tax system is based on its technological advancement, and that is why digitization in taxation is one of the most best benefits for a tremendous positive impact to the Nigerian tax system. The first and the major thing that has to be done is the creation of awareness. The government should organize enlightenment programs in both Shura and urban areas, especially in areas where people do not understand the importance of paying taxes. And it shouldn't just stop there. The government should bring this theory into actualization. And I just go, seeing is believing. After teaching them the theory, go ahead and they can go ahead with the promotion of social amenities in these areas so that people can understand that these TVC are the impulses of our taxes. Tax is a contract between the government and the people. And here for that contract, the people expect the government to provide good leadership for them. The people need a contract to bind them with the government. They bind the government and the people together. And I'm appealing to us to please let tax be that contract. Even though tax payment, taxpayers' identification number that's seen has been enforced since February 2008, the Nigerian tax system should be improved with e-payment, as this would encourage a the innovation of a user-friendly or easy-to-use digital platform and a boot for taxpayers to remit their taxes without having to leave the comfort of their homes and offices. The taxpayers should know the exact amount to pay, the basis for the taxation, the rate, and the relevant authority on which to pay to. Tax awareness and enlightenment must be given to the general public. This can be done through campaigns, rallies, radio jingles, TV adverts, in Pigeon and other local dialects around the country. This will help to educate the people and make them understand that tax is not just a choice, but an obligation as a citizen of a country. One, everybody should pay taxes according to his or her ability. Every taxpayer should pay tax in proportion with income brackets. This can be done by, by taxing inheritances to everybody. Two, wealth taxes should be introduced. This will help to boost revenue and performance rates will be achieved. The best option is to directly tax production and consumption. It does not matter what you call it, be it value added tax or any other name. Taxing production and consumption is the only way taxation will be inclusive in Nigeria, since every human being either produces or consumes something. I, Akifen Wabolo Atifel, will be very much glad if the government could adopt my initiatives, which include diversification of the economy, use of fiscal stimulus, devising, strategies, devising formidable and resourceful strategies for identifying the original income of companies and equalizing the tax barriers, as efficient tax drive is achieved through efficient tax administration and efficient tax reforms. One basic initiative is an aggressive and continuous sensitization of the populace, which are the market traders, transporters, and business owners, on the importance of paying taxes to avoid them from evading tax payments. A lot goes into this, like jingles, advertisements, drama sketches, and so on, which are supported with flyers, leaflets, handbills, and pamphlets, all educating the people about taxation. They also need to see that whatever they pay as taxes are used judiciously by the government in the provision of basic amenities, job creations, One and day. other important uses. The only connection I ever had with taxes is tax clearance certificate. You know why? No tax clearance, no registration in the public schools. 
It took the competition for me to understand that multiplicity of taxes, non-availability of tax database, tax outing, tax loss complexity, non-payment of tax refunds, and many more have been some of the challenges the Nigeria tax system has been confronted with from time immemorial. Like the popular Latin quote, Neri Kaas Fumene, Onsten Dei, do not tell a man what to do, show him. The Nigerian tax system is ineffective because the citizens do not understand it, do not believe it, and have definitely not accepted it. We can change that. What can be done? First, the system has to be introduced into primary and secondary curricula. If we cannot have taxation as a subject on its own in our schools, then we can have it as a compulsory club or society. If children are taught the importance of payment of tax in schools, this will be cascaded in the society from the child to the parents and back to the nation. To underscore the importance that the tax fraternity attached to the event and to catching them young, the event was graced with the attendance of four past presidents of the CITN, Prince Razak Quadre, Chief M.A.C. D.K., Professor Mrs. Teji Shomori, and Dean Olajumo Kessimplis. Panel of judges comprised of past president MACDK, past president Dim Olajumo Kessimplis, CITN council member Adeye Misoni, and Mrs. Bukwola Akimoladu. The executive chairman FRS and the president of the CITN were both represented by Mr. Simon Kato. And the winners. First position with a score of 90%. Is community high school Alapere. In the third position with a score of 94 is Iju Senior Grammar School. Okay, the senior high school is second with a score of 95%. And the winner today is a Papa Senior Grammar School with a score of 97%. Please come out, let's see you. Come out, let's see you. Prizes were presented from various quarters as the eminent men and women in attendance were visibly impressed. We were happy and felt very privileged to witness the young ones reassuring us that Nigeria is indeed great and is going to be even greater. These children here are definitely going to be the future leaders of our great nation. I can see presidents among them, yeah, governors amongst them, ministers among them, commissioners amongst them. I can also see state coordinators. And in fact, the future president of CITN is amongst them. Thank you for watching the show today. Let's do it again together next week. Have a blessed week ahead.